Good morning everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome and good morning. I hope your guys' morning is very well. It is Tuesday, and hopefully when this posts, it is a Tuesday. If not, well, happy Tuesday. <laughs> day before or day of, who knows? Um, it just feels good to be back. For those who are new here, hi, hello, I'm Selena. And I am a shop owner of Amore Fabrics. I do have other ways to follow me down below. You can click on the links to check them out and stuff like that. But um, there's so much since the last time I had posted a video or done any social media at all. So I apologize for those who are hoping for more, maybe more social media content. I will do my best to work on that um, now that I am back and my mind is not on vacation mode. And uh, so, but it's good to be back. So I plan on... Um, Today I was going to show you what the next daily deal is going to be. I have Cindy, my employee, coming in about a half an hour. So I was hoping to quickly get this video going um, and then loaded so you guys can see it uh, before she comes because I want her to start on this kit today. So my goal is to have this kit done by this weekend. So then you guys can go ahead and run on over there. I'll keep you guys posted in social media as well. But I can't wait to show you what's on the table. <laughs> I'm excited. I've been keeping this one up my sleeve for a while, um, but I wanted a way to take up back from vacation. There's so much more I'm adding to this kit, but you guys know me for those who follow and buy these kits that I, I put together. I like to take my time and I'm very picky in particular how I want it to be completed. I, I want it to be well-rounded so then you can use it everything um, for not only one kit, but as many kits that you can use for the future. And I haven't done this kind of kit yet, so it's all new, so I'm excited. Um, but as far as the vacation, as promised, I have another video that's going to be posted to finishing the junk journal, um, the traveler's junk journal for the vacation trip. My daughter's one's finished, for those who've been following who understand this, but mine, I'm completing it. My daughter has hers. I didn't get a chance to show you guys the complete, but I'm hoping that maybe she'll send it to me and then I can go through the flip through for you guys, how she finished it from the trip. Mine, I'm going to do the next video that's going to post of how I'm completing mine. And then I can go over with you guys day by day how and what we did on our vacation. We went to Canada for those who are new here. Uh, we went to Toronto and then the Niagara Falls side. So I won't ramble too much more. I'm going to get my glasses on. I'm going to flip this camera and I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what we're going to be putting together today. And then as the kit comes along, I'll show you the extra things we're adding to it. All right, let me press pause really quick. Okay, this is what's on my table now. It's in the works. I'm going to get my glasses on so I can see what I'm showing you. Um, this is, oh my goodness, these are books that are um, that I've been collecting over time. And uh, it is everything but all vintage fashion. And what's nice about this is, uh, you'll see here in a minute, <laughs> that's why I've been holding this one close, dear to life, um, is that... The pages are absolutely amazing. So this book here, uh, my goal is to do like a 30 page pack of these. And when you see them, you understand why. Oh my gosh. It, it's just, no matter which page you flip, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Here's one page I've taken out. So pretty much it's going, this one here is Western fashion. Looks like it's starting all the way from ancient Rome, all the way, it does year by year or century or what have you. But what I love about this, I took one page out to show you is when you guys are make your journaling pages, like look at how beautiful. So I have enough to do like three pages per book, which is awesome, right? Look at the other side. Oh my gosh, right? What's nice about this is that you can fold it in half and you still have people on every page as you flip it through. So that is one book I'm gonna show you. But included with the book pages, which is wait, you guys see the books. I'm so excited. This one here is copyright free too. So if you guys, oh yeah, I'm just excited. <laughs> so included in this paper pack, I will be doing fabrics that are outside of the bohemian thing. You guys know I do a lot of the India stuff, but I have, I figured since this is vintage fashion, I'm going to pick out fabrics that I have collected over time that are different, unique, like brocades, chiffon, silks, velvets. I'm going to pick some ideas from these books and I'm going to put those in the kits. Now the two fabrics you see here, this is a vintage French brocade. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's got like the velvet here. 
these two prints here, this one here is a vintage um, uh, velvet, now a thick, I mean heavy upholstery weight velvet when they make those big vintage couches, covering when they cover those vintage couches. It has the most beautiful raised, if you can see it in there. Anyways, these two prints are going to be in this kit as well. I'm going to make them junk journal cover size, which is 10 and a half by 14 and a half like I do my other ones. So you'll get a cut of this and then a cut of this that is 10 and a half by 14 and a half in every kit. Not included. I, I don't have right now to show you, but I have the different fabrics that I'm cutting from. They won't be that big of cuts, but I have a lot of beautiful fabrics like from, like I said, silks. I do have some brocades chiffon and stuff and I'm going to be including those in each kit. Um, it'll be what you see is what you get. Minus the pages. The pages I can't duplicate for every kit to have the same one as you can see here. They're all going to be so different. But isn't that gorgeous? But you guarantee beautiful pages. Now this one here will have one per pack. This is the copyright free uh, pages. They're black and white but look it. You can copy it yourself um, or just use them or cut them out. But look how cool is that? Each pack will have one of these because I don't have enough for three. It would just be perfect. In fact, I think I'll be doing, doing 30 kits because I think I only have 30 pages of that guy. So there's that book. You've seen that one. Wait till you see this one. This is historic costumes and picture from over 1,450 costumes, 125 palettes. I mean, just gorgeous. I know I tore out one page in particular. There we go. But there's a lot more. But look at here. So these could be folded the opposite side long ways. So they're not, the people won't be sideways. They'll be exactly what you see. Isn't that cool? Ooh, I'm doing this one handily. I'm sorry. Oh, fell down. Same thing here. Aren't they beautiful? Just gorgeous. So you'll be getting three pages of that. And let's see if I can flip through some of the. How cool, huh? Just gorgeous. So there's that one. Here's this one here, women's fashion of the early 1900s. Oh, it's like a fashion magazine. So it is black and white, but light gloss as you can see. But look at hats and dresses. And that's so cool. Just so cool. So we have three pages of that. World Costumes, Encyclopedia of, let's see what I have here. Oh, I know I had one page taken out. But look at, here's this one, it's different feathers. But look at, I mean like, these are pages that are hard to find, highly sought after, um, and then you can get 30 page pack of. Isn't that cool? All right. So I just wanted to show you guys before they get ripped up. Here's another one. Vintage clothing, 1880s to the 1980s. Look at it. It's just, no matter which page you turn, it's going to be gorgeous. It's just totally, oh lord, gorgeous. Looks like somebody was putting little notes in there. Uh, this here is alter years for costumes. Historical Dance, costumes, supplies, and accessories. Almost like, oh, an order book. Look at this. How cool, right? Can't beat that. Here's costume maker's art. This looks like more modern, but still. It's costumes. And that, you know what's nice about this kit, too, is I was debating on whether or not to do anything for Halloween. And I really, <clears throat> not everyone celebrates it. So I'm trying to be cautious, and so I figured, why not do, like, vintage fashion, clothing, decor. This one's Hollywood and history costume designs from different films. Um, I never looked up these books, guys. Look at this. is page by page. Just gorgeous. Isn't it? Isn't that Charlotte O'Hare? Lady, Lady Emeryn. I'm not sure. But anyways, you cannot go wrong. They're just beautiful gorgeous okay and then historic costumes and then I know I have a bunch of vintage playing cards that also have different ladies fashion on them like uh, playing cards um, so 
that will be added to this kit. I'm looking for some vintage buckles. Of course, I like to do some laces and trims and some velvet. Of course, you have to have like a velvet trim that I'll be putting in this kit. So that is where I'm at so far. I'm excited. I can't wait to get started um, putting these papers together. Today, I will cut these junk journal covers out for each kit. And um, I hope you guys absolutely love it. It feels good to be back. Um, and I'm excited to get this all put together for you guys. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Look forward to more uh, social media content. Con content. <laughs> I need more coffee. I need to start using my stand to hold my camera, too, and to look in the right direction. But anyways, if I could give you all a big hug and say hi, hello, I would. Um, I just hope you guys have a beautiful day, beautiful week, and I'm looking forward to really putting some new things in the shop for you guys. All right, guys, you have a good one. Bye. <laughs>